Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> okay, where we left off, we... Oh, yeah. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home, where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But... once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh... not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? <laughs> oh, wow. So beautiful. Now let's go explore. That's it. What? It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Ah. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it dropped. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <clears throat> You can uncover that geyser from here. Maybe. Yeah. 
Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. coming down. Is there something else we can hit? Try hitting the rope holding the block. Nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Shut up. Try hitting the rope holding the block. <laughs> That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. hoping to learn from Tia. Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. Huh. 
huh? Know the area. earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of thermal winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. Wow. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for we don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Huh. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Oh, look at this detail. Sentry! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Huh. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Well, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. <laughs> Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? On your left. Behind 
behind you! Watch out! idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm. Any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an organism if I ever had one. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But if there aren't any guards patrolling, they're <laughs> clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist, and you made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Right side, brother! Oh. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Okay, let's go look for directions. <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. I'm just exploring. <laughs> Okay then. This looks promising, right? That's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair yeah, point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently. Intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me. At least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. 
And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful <laughs> compass. Now scamper off. No, I don't want to scamper. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Thurlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Let's go explore. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot.
fuck is this? No, it's still here. What? The island the other guys are. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right the very old wrong. One less feathery spy. Behind the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. some new item recipes. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can shut it down. Go! 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 
agree to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. I know it's still when I was fighting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Let's put some come more. To be. I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. Do you think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. <laughs> Those mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke.
Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. Ah. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into Enough. the night We will continue later. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Ace here in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Right. No. Gotta be the right spot. Yeah. Those barrels. Yeah. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Yeah. Ah. Just in case. Break through the ground here. If he found a high enough place to drop from. I'm going to end it here. Okay. I'm done for today.